are finally back for another episode of Drinking oh, Dungeon. Yay. Uh, we the last time we played it was like 85 degrees outside, mm -hmm. so it's been uh, a bit. It was it was a different year. Yep. It was a yeah. different year. Um, so we we might be a little bit rusty, or you guys might be a little bit rusty on the rules. So we'll try. I'll try to keep that stuff in mind. Um, and in that theme, we're also adding some rules. Mm. Um, you guys are going to start dealing with. Um, uh, Attacks of Opportunity, which I explained a little bit before we had the camera rolling, um, and I'll keep that in mind whenever you guys are doing stuff, whether you provoke one or whether you should maybe uh, take, that take one. Uh, opportunity. And then the other thing is we've added sanity rules to Sagaborn, and I'm going to have you guys uh, start doing this. So um, i got a sheet here so that way I can walk you through. We're going to fill it out real quick uh, before we get going. So. Um, first off is uh, there's a big square box mm -hmm. uh, that's your current sanity. Don't fill that out yet, but go straight down and it says starting sanity. Okay. So write 75 there if it's not already written. Okay. And then it says plus miscellaneous bonus, add all of your mental stat ability bonuses together. So that is the bonuses that you have on wisdom, intelligence, and charisma. And that goes Ooh. in that awesome. slot there. No, what if I have a negative? That's, that's what you start with. All right, and then basically you just add 75 plus what's ever in that box, and mm -hmm. that gives you guys your base sanity. Base sanity, okay. Um, 79. So wisdom? Uh, no, down here. Miscellaneous bonus is going to be your wisdom, charisma, and intelligence added up. So six. So you add six right here. So, so then, Who knew Bar Bergamot was the si most sane of all of us? <laughs> He's at an um, 81. So, Who knew? so then Who you knew? multiply your base sanity by 0.25 or a quarter. Okay. And that equals your sanity threshold. Oh. Um, I have a calculator. Calculator. If you guys want, just let me pull it up. Laura Give me the number. The same. All right, so what is it? Laura and I are 79 times 0.25. So that is 19.75, uh, so that's 20 for you guys. 20? I mean, mine's going to be 22 because I'm 81. Um, right. see, 81 times 0.25 is 20.25, so you're 20 as well. Um, so does that mean we go insane? So I'm no, sure you're going to get below 20? Or we start to go insane? Uh, no. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. We're just adding this up. So next, move up to your affliction threshold. Um, to okay. the left, add your wisdom about uh, wisdom ability modifier. Bonus. Okay. <laughs> Negative one for Zyla. <laughs> plus <laughs> plus your level, so all you guys are two. Okay. Plus miscellaneous modifier, which you guys don't have, and that's your affliction threshold. Okay. All right. So yours is one. Mm -hmm. Silent. Oh wow, that's gonna be rough. Rough Woo! on you. Wait. What's um, your buggy? Just. It, it's a good thing we're not gonna run into any Insects. bugs. <laughs> so. Make that a fear, not a phobia. Well, yeah, well, well, well. That works in just a little bit. So uh, here's here's what it is, and none of you guys have a sanity resistance right now. Um, an affliction threshold is the amount of sanity points a character can lose after one sanity roll before they suffer a temporary disorder. Right. So if you lose more than two points in a, a sanity, sanity roll, oh, then you uh, get a temporary disorder that can just last like an hour or a couple days. Oh. Or could it be like a speech impediment? Or what, what's it gonna be? Just like in the corner with your phone in your mouth or? Um, and, and once again, these, these rules are in, like, alpha stage, so mm -hmm. if it's d too much, like, the wisdom bonus might be doubled, you know, or if it doesn't go into the negatives. Mm -hmm. um, but, so, we'll just play with it, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, and then your current sanity is your, like, you guys can now all write your base sanity into your current sanity, because that's where you start out at. Okay. Okay. 
Um, so a sanity check, when a character encounters a gruesome, unnatural, or supernatural situation, the GM may require the player to make a sanity check using a percentile dice. So you roll two, mm-hmm. two D10s. Mm-hmm. Um, the check succeeds if the result is equal to or less than the character's current sanity. So that means at, where are you guys at again, 78? 79. 79. 81. 81. So that means that you only have those upper numbers to worry about. So you just have to roll like a 79 or below to oh, not lose okay. sanity points. Now, some creatures and things, you just automatically lose one, uh, okay. like even if you make the roll. But okay. that's as you run into crazier and crazier creatures, you're going mm. to have more sanity effects. All right. Um, so uh, a temporary disorder uh, is um, if you lose sanity points equal to or greater than your affliction threshold, you gain a temporary disorder. Um, you know what? Hey, let's say we don't want this to become a horror game. Um, so let's just say that it is that your affliction threshold is two plus your wisdom modifier plus your level. So Laura, add two to your everyone add two to your affliction threshold. So okay. that way. You have to at least lose something. Okay. Because like just losing one is we're still very small. Yeah. Where should that plus two get put on this chart? Do I just put it off to the left of the wisdom. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so phobias and fears. So here's um, uh, something that works with you guys. Okay. Um, because you guys have already chosen fears. A character can choose something which normally does not require a sanity check and name it a fear. For each fear, they gain plus one to their sanity score and a plus one miscellaneous modified to their affliction threshold. But every time they encounter that feel, they must succeed at a sanity check with a negative three penalty. Okay. So, Laura, you'll write so down roll. spiders in your as a fear. But then boats. Boats, right. And then boats. but then you add a plus one to your miscellaneous modifier on your affliction threshold which then raises that as well. Um, and if you guys want to talk about some more fears in the future, we'll do that off camera. Yeah, but I, I had said insects, I think, was my <coughs> Yeah, and that's too broad. It that's is, too yeah. broad of a thing. But, but then you guys talked about spiders earlier in the, in the episode, so we'll just say it's spiders. Um, if a character drops below their sanity threshold, Due to a chosen fear sanity roll, that fear becomes a phobia. Phobias are permanent, and the character suffers negative five on all sanity rolls against them. Huh. So, but that would mean um, your sanity threshold, which is the one to the right of your base sanity, Mm -hmm. is pretty high. So that means that your sanity points have to drop all the way below that, and you have to drop below that while making a roll against that fear for it to become a phobia. So it's... A very rare thing for it to become a phobia, unless, like, you guys start a pirate adventure and you're, like, on boats constantly, then that's going to be an issue. Guys, no pirates. Can we just say no pirates? No pirates. Um, So that's that's just about it. Um, Examples of of temporary disorders. Um, The character has a screaming fit. Um, And then you roll a D100. Short term is 1d10 plus 4 rounds. Long term is 1d10 plus 10 hours. So even if you get a temporary thing, now I mean, um, it, it can be real bad. Like uh, if you roll 100 on the temporary disorder chart, situation causing the temporary disorder creates a new phobia for the character. Hmm. But you'd have to roll 100 to get that. Hmm. Um, you know, 91 to 99, character becomes catatonic. Uh, can stand but has no will or interest, maybe let her force to do simple action but takes no independent action. So that could really change an adventure if you guys had that for 1d10 plus 10 hours. Um, but we're not trying to make this a horror game, we're just trying to add a little bit to it. We haven't really run into this. One of the things I was trying to do in other games I played is just stop everyone from rushing in and killing everyone that they see all the time. Uh, like, oh, let's deal with this situation by killing everybody. Uh, because one of the things that happens is like, um, for example, here's sanity loss chart examples. Minor uh, sanity loss uh, would be severity would be like finding a dead body, finding a stream of blood, encounter with a minor demon, translating another spellbook. Uh, moderate 
being buried alive, hmm. witnessing a friend's death, encountering a ghost, harming an innocent, which that would be the oh. let's just rush in and kill everything. Huh. If you miss your sanity check while doing that, you like on a moderate one, let's say harming an innocent, you would take you always take one sanity, mm -hmm. um, even if you succeed. If you fail, then you take one d four. So like, okay. that's the balancing. Uh, like for example, a severe uh, is assassinating someone, being part of a dark magic ritual, or torturing someone, which is two slash two d eight. So if you miss your sanity rolling, you take a whole lot of sanity damage by torturing someone. Mm. Um, and and so I'm just trying to add some sort of depth to the world some consequences mm -hmm. and of course then there's extreme which is meeting a great one from the nevirum which is 1d10 slash 1d100 so you guys just don't go meeting any uh great ones okay anytime soon all right so you guys all got that and i'll remind yep. you if anything pops up yep but I, I think really for you guys what this is going to do is it's just going to add a little bit to you guys having mm -hmm. chosen fears okay um but where we left off is Doing a shot because we're about yeah. to. Yeah, my shot has a tag along. <laughs> oh, good old gummy whiskey. Yay, All right, gummy whiskey. To drinking and dungeoning Yay. in 2018. Woo! <laughs> oh gosh, flying whiskey. <laughs> All right. All right. So, um. Oh. You guys have fought through this dungeon twice. That's not great. Uh, once was not very successful. <laughs> the second time has been much better. Mm -hmm. um, you uh, rolled the Gorgolug out into the river in yep. the stream, and he floated away. See you ya. guys raided an armory and found some cool weapons. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you're now uh, in a place that you feel might be a place of significance uh, okay. because it's a closed uh, like very heavy wooden door with uh, iron uh, supports to it mm -hmm. and uh, that's where we stopped last time now uh, the discussion last time was there's some talk of opening up the door and then Bergamot casting dancing lights through it and having those rush in and uh, try to be a distraction mm -hmm. um, just reminding you guys if you still want to take that option or if in the past three months you guys thought up of something new or <laughs> so do so we don't know what's behind the door right now correct yeah um you guys have just gone up you haven't like so we've taken the approach of just kind of running into things in previous uh you know sessions i kind of like the idea of maybe trying to sneak like Maybe sending Xyla in because she's so swift and just kind of get her like at least in the door so that we know what's happening. Because um, if they see whatever's behind that door just sees lights flying everywhere, that, they're going to be at attention. I also have a little hand mirror that I can kind of like yeah. stick in there. And I mean, so awareness is not just for when things are happening. Mm -hmm. You guys can actually pick one person and put their ear up to the door and let, try to listen as well using awareness. I'll do that. Uh, who, you know, who, as a strategic thing, I'd just say maybe whoever, what's that? Wisdom? Awareness is, is a skill. Oh yeah, right down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm at zero. So um, probably. I've got like my wisdom, I've got the um, like three, three to awareness. So, Got four. Yeah, I've got. So, uh, I got pretty good awareness. If yeah. You guys want me to do yeah, go listen. Check. All right, give us the first roll of 2018. Woo! Ah! Yeah. What? what is it? Is it 20? 20? Oh man, maybe this is just yeah. last year that did it for you guys. Yay! Good job! Holy awesome. cow! <laughs> Woo! I'm pumped. I need a drink. Um. <laughs> Wow, you rolled a 20. That's awesome. Holy All right. cow. Uh, you you hear goblins behind the door. Um, and with a roll of a 20. I could you, even add a um, some bardic knowledge just to make it a better story to see, like, not only did I get a 20 on awareness, but I could maybe even see if, like, like add that bardic knowledge on top of that. 
and make it like I just learned everything about what's going well, on in the room. Well, you don't speak Goblin, do you? Um, I think I know like well, three so, languages. Well, so here's here's one of the bonuses to you rolling so high on that uh, listen check is the bardic knowledge wouldn't really help out here, um, but one of the goblins is muttering in common, and uh, he, the, while the other ones are are obviously quietly sort of like strategizing. Uh, because you can hear them coming from places to places and you know they're strategizing because you hear uh, the one muttering to himself and he's saying like, he's like, what are we even doing here? They've wiped out over half of us. Like, it's stupid for us to even just wait in here. Like, I don't want to make a last stand, but that's what the chief wants. Like, so guess that's what we're going to do. And actually, it's a much higher <coughs> voice that he's muttering in. That wasn't in the character voice, but... Can I get a... Do I have an idea of how many voices I heard? Um, on a 20, I'd say that you heard uh, three goblin voices and one, the one goblin talking in common. And the reason I'm saying that you can tell it's a goblin is because of the, the uh, dialect. Like, I mean, he's mm -hmm. sort of slurring his words a little bit, not just from drinking. Mm -hmm. Oops, our little screen went dead. Um, just ready. Oh, apparently... Uh, your screen just rebooted. Oh, yay for technology! Yeah. Excellent. 2018. Okay. okay, so I'm assuming you relay all this to us. Yes, I do. Now, in that hallway, it looks like it kind of opens up a little bit. Are there? The door directly in front of us. Door in front of us, and then to the right and left was that like a the where we saw? Um, did we see anything in there? No. So. What those look like, those are little uh, guard outposts. Okay, so it widens almost? Yeah. Okay. Um, We're going up, right? Yeah, so... Could you select the, the thing over there so I can type in roll 20? Okay. Well, no, we need the Wi-Fi password. <laughs> Oops, really? Just, no. Wait, it just entered in... Uh, wait. Uh -huh. It just searched. Okay, try that again. Hey, we can fly. Ah, no! Stuff. No! <laughs> what's it doing? On? It's just going to like the next place. Okay, try it again. Roll20.net? Yep. Alright. So we know. So you guys are rolling well and my technology's messing up. Click Woo! on the Fairy Port Adventures there at the top. Yeah. I think you have to click on the name. Okay. Launch Next game? Click. Yep. Okay. Look, guys, I'm like a technological like wizard right now. Here at Drink and I am a wizard with technology. This will make the blooper real. And then you can okay. make the screen larger. All right. Yay. Woo, I see us. Good. That's some good TV show right okay. there. Okay. <laughs> so, I would. Who has the best ability to like open locks or anything? I do. So, do you want to start kind of fidgeting with that and see if we can get this door open silently and maybe. Yeah. You but do we do we have a plan about what we're gonna say to them? Because we just overheard them saying that they don't want to have a final stand. Really, like they don't. They're tired of so like killing, just, and like, are we tired of all the killing? They're like, are we gonna try to I like? I think they're no, tired of being killed. Uh, I'll just say this because he rolled so well on the listen check. That is not what the. So Anton, this would be something that Bergamot would say. It was one goblin saying, I don't want this to be the last stand, but the chief wants chief it to does. be. So You're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so so we know that there's a chief. Mm -hmm. the big and we know power that these we know that these guys are, are just gonna stand their ground. They're not yeah. they're not very yeah. smart. They're We're gonna have to go in ready to fight, honestly. Cause I mean But we could at least attempt to negotiate there is one because what are we trying to do here we're well we're trying to <coughs> get his stuff back but we've also when we were talking to the elves in the forest we were wanting to you know like the go the goblins were taking over their posts and stuff yeah. like that and so we want to find out if they're the ones that have been killing all the livestock, livestock. and stuff like that yeah. so i mean i feel like if we can get to the chief to talk to them but who knows like the chief might even be in there 
Yeah. Well, what do what do yeah. we have that they want? If we want, we don't have anything. If we want to go talk to their chief, we need we need some sort of angle. Why would they want to? So aside they from die? us not killing them, but it sounds like it's still a fair fight if there's, you know, yeah. there's a few voices in there. It's still, for all we know, we don't know exactly the size or the strength of the guys inside that door. So we know that their only job is to fight us. So unless we just come in completely convincing them that they do not have a chance fighting us, they're gonna immediately attack because that's their only job. So unless we know immediately when we come through that door, if we have something to convince them not to attack in return, then we need to be prepared that they're going to attack us the moment we walk through that door. So are we better off getting a sneak attack, or are we better off, like, trying to rationalize with them? If you can, if you can think of a good approach to uh, what we should discuss with them, I don't see an angle offhand. I don't see an angle to take with them. I hate just rushing in and attacking them, but I don't really see... Uh, uh, a negotiation angle on our side. I don't either. But if we do rush in and attack, I mean, we can do whatever you guys want to, but if we do rush in and attack, I think we sneak in and attack. Kill them. Or or be ready to kill them. And we do kill them, then we'll never know if they were the ones behind them. Let's uh, let's do everything. Let's do everything that we can to subdue the one that speaks common. He's important mm-hmm. to us. Mm-hmm. If we can pin him down or mm-hmm. convince him that we will save him, let's not attack him, but let's get in and position ourselves to where we perhaps... In, we've ambushed them. We yeah. surround the ones that do not speak common, and we alert the one as we approach the room that, hey, we are willing to negotiate with you, but we have no reason to negotiate with any of the rest of these people. So if you can convince us not to kill everyone else, then go ahead and start. Otherwise, we, you know, we, we should leave him, I guess, for last. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to try to the door. So let's try to sneak in and get in, like, an ambush. Is the door locked? Um, actually, there is no locking mechanism from this side. So the only thing to try is maybe try pushing it open. Silently. Yes. Is there a way that I could um, maybe like? I think I'd like to inspire some sort of uh, inner inner uh, poetry to go on in your head because I want to uh, I want you to just be reminded of a cadence like beat that is as though I'm playing music but it's silent. Are you gonna? S- Whisper no, a tune stuck in my head? Lullaby. Is that what you're saying? Well, like, are you going to whisper a lullaby? <coughs> it's it's going to be based off of a heartbeat, so okay. that way you never lose the beat. Mm. And just take oh. just take any sort of cadence poem that just reminds you of our names and just be repeating all our names over and over to a heartbeat rhythm. And I believe, if you believe, that you'll get... Do you believe? That you might get an attack bonus <coughs> off that, if you believe in that as much as I do. But it has to be silent. You have to let's keep that beat our in minds. your head. Wow. Let's <laughs> sink our, our minds. Now. Synchronize right. our minds, and then he, you can hum. Let's, let's, let's just say, all right. <laughs> Anton, roll a d20. If you roll a 20, then you can have her have Inspire Courage for two rounds without you singing, just from your little speech. 17. No. Aww. Nope. Nope. Okay. I mean, because well, that's a pretty epic thing. That to try is to, very yeah. epic. <laughs> could, but, I, could you just imagine a song that inspires courage to keep it quiet? <laughs> All right, so roll a thievery check for me. The song I'll... is within you. I tried. Uh, 19. All right, uh, so the door uh, squeaks open just enough. Squeaks? I meant... <laughs> With that, no, I mean, it, it, it slides open just enough for you to put your mirror in. Yep. Um, what do I see? Well, first they have to roll their awareness to see if they know something. Um, all right. So, uh, it opens up, and... Hey, we're back over here. What does this girl do? I know. Let me Uh-oh. read a little bit to you guys. What's going on? 
A staircase descends ten feet into a large oval room that now opens before you. The uneven oh. flooring is bathed in a soft light from a large hole in a web-covered ceiling above. Web-covered ceiling. At the far end of the oval, another right. staircase ascends to a dais. A small black twisted tree grows behind a wooden throne, and before it stands a large goblin holding a gnarled staff of the same black wood. His skin seems to mimic the bark of the staff over half of his body, giving him a horrific visage. He hmm. snarls and shouts orders to the goblin horde who stand around the dais. There are, uh, as you can see, four uh, goblins in front of him, as well as the the big one on the throne. Okay. One of them uh, is standing there, and he has a small staff that has trinkets hanging off of it. And he's holding out the staff in his hands like this. And he's the one standing in front of the big guy. Um, My staff also has trinkets hanging from it, so he might be a fool guy. Maybe not. Are any of them speaking? Uh, actually, I was about to get to that. Um, I just want to make sure are you, are, you guys aren't barging in. You aren't rushing right, in, right? you're not. All right. Um, so the, the <laughs> goblin with the staff says... You were, stick, or let me get in the goblin voice here. Oh, channel <laughs> it, channel you it. Were sticking the mirror through. Uh, we wish to speak. No. Oh. That's the one that speaks English. That's okay. The then that's... speak. We'll be back here. <laughs> <laughs> really? Are we just gonna stay behind the door the whole time? Hey. There's no locking mechanism from our side, so like. Okay. Well, if they can speak. We'll say okay. Well, don't. Don't shoot at us. Um, you can see none of all the goblins there all have their swords drawn, but none of them have their short, short bows out already. Okay. Um, the one so, in the front says, uh, uh, we, we offer peace. Come in. Okay. We won't attack if you don't attack. As do we. Um, so I guess we go in. Um, who wants to be in first? Um... Who's the most? I'm not charismatic, so like, I'm I've smart. Most, I've by far got the most charisma. Okay. And obviously, the uh, don't the do anything dumb. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's get in formation. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, I will, um, I will come in uh, to the left side of the stairs there. Um, and then oh, I can move um, you. And so I like right keep, here. Um, I just want as as I'm right there. Uh, a little to the left. What? Masters, so that. Um, Where do you want to be, Zyla? Yeah, that's okay. Just in the door. Okay. Um, and then uh, just as they all have their weapons visible, I have um, uh, my battle axe uh, quite visible. All right, um, you guys enter in, and uh, the little guy steps forward. Uh, he is actually smaller than the other goblins, like skinnier uh, and not as muscled. Does he look like maybe he's hungry? Um, no. Because he's got hot butter. <laughs> Butterscotch. Hot <laughs> candy. Um, and, and the the, the goblin says, I am Dodden, and I'm speaking for the great Chief Teardrum. And he wishes to know what you are doing in our kingdom. Do you want to keep talking? I guess. I mean, I can. Well, hey, Don, uh, let me make this real easy on you. Have you seen a, a really boss horn laying around? We might have found a horn. We're talking what? real boss now. <laughs> so. <laughs> But the first question is, what are you doing here, and why have okay. you killed half of our men? Okay, so I'm gonna, I guess I'll come forward, um, <laughs> and I'll be like, we, the locals surrounding the forest have um, said that there has been creatures taking their crops and their livestock, um, also 
we met, met the elves of, was it Kilnor? The elves, elves of Kilnor said that people, or your people have been taking over their posts. And Dodden spits when you say elves, but yeah. Okay. Um, we want to know why you're taking over posts, and if you are the ones that are in fact taking the crops and livestock of the village people. Well, we need food. Do you not need food? We're just trying to carve out our kingdom here. Well... I got some jerky right here. I thought you looked a little hungry. He's a skinny guy. Okay. Are you literally offering him jerky? Uh, I, behind Dodden, the chief says something you guys don't understand and slams his fist down and starts yelling and pointing at oh, you guys. Shit. Um, Dodden looks at him and says something in Goblin and turns back to you and says, The great Chief Deergrim wants this to be solved quickly and wants you out of his kingdom before he has to kill you. So we can either try to get Bergamot's stuff back or we can fight. They're not going to leave the village people alone. So there's... No negotiations that we can come to about your ever-growing kingdom that you're trying to carve out. Um, Dodden turns around and talks <clears throat> to the chief, and the chief is sitting there and he's saying things and pointing and playing with his big belly Ooh. and laughing, and uh, and then points at the three of you and makes this. Oh, okay. Um, and Dodden oh. turns around and says. So the Grand Chief says that in order for us to leave you in peace, we need ten leagues in all directions from this tower to be named our kingdom. Uh, we also want the humans and elves to sign a treaty that says we are free to do what we want within our own kingdom. Uh, I don't think... Hey. Don, uh, that doesn't sound so groovy. Uh, why, why should we uh, stop uh, stop on our mission uh, if 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 y'all don't seem so willing to, to meet us halfway? Our mission being to uh, come in here and uh, kill y'all. By the way, real slick, real slick. They should have known that they were encroaching on someone else's territory. They knew, like they they came here knowing that they were probably going to have to eventually put up a fight. Ada's hands are slowly starting <coughs> to gr like glow, by the way. Um, Dodden is uh, They're behind he's her holding back, his staff and he's like tapping and he's looking nervous. So um, we killed Dodden last, how about that? Like, well, let me start with like, you know, the guys in the right. closest. I yell out to Dodden. I say, Dodden, we have no interest in negotiation just like your chief. However, if you have any reason to tell us why we should let you stay alive, we'll be all ears while we're busy attacking the rest of these guys. Because if they, they have no reason to even listen to us. So our, our immediate priority is taking care of the rest of these guys. Dodden, so long as you don't attack us, we won't attack you. Well, and one last final offer, if they just pick up and leave this tower that they've taken over, then of course we we won't fight, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they Correct. can just pick up and leave, and leave the crops alone. Leave the crops, leave the animals, and we'll be good. But we basically came Find here to tell them to leave. But they do not get ten leave it alone. ten leagues of anything. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Um, oh jeez. Roll. Uh, all right. Here you go. Uh, Give me a a persuasion uh, check, Bergamot. Uh, 19. Um, Dodden says, um, the, the chief's not going to go for that. Uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm just going to pretend like I'm on their side and I'm going to go hide behind the tree. Uh, your horn's in that room over there. Thank you. All right, uh, oh I God. I start singing a song right away. Uh, basically, uh, it's not even rehearsed, but basically the lyrics, uh, ooh, you've never even heard the song before, but you understand the lyrics right away to mean, uh, let's let's kill these ramblings. Okay. And everybody gets inspired. All right, the minute you okay. start singing, inspired courage. Uh, the chief slams his hand down 
and shouts and points at you guys, and it's time for the age-old initiative. I keep thinking I'm going to take this heavy metal dice and roll it, and it's just going to burst. <laughs> just gonna shatter through that. Shatter the cup. That would be really exciting. Do that on a heroic action. <laughs> Uh, we are rolling for initiative. Uh, yep. All right. Woo! Three. Just one second. Let me get you guys all at it, and I'll ask. Right. Okay. No. Yeah, so I let you three. Yep. Um, all right. Ada, what were you? Eight. Eight. I don't think I have Woo! a modifier for it. Bergamot? No, because you don't have. Uh, initiative is based on dex. It's just sixteen. Sixteen. Well, that's not as bad as the rest of them. <laughs> Good job. All right. Yes. So the first, the first goblin guard, uh, jumps down off the dais and then moves one forward and attacks Ada. And he rolled a fourteen. He's attacking with his sword, so he gets plus three to that. So Ouch. seventeen. Does that hit? Um. I do, uh... What's your AC? 12. Only 12? Yeah. I think... I have 13. For me? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think I, I changed my armor up when I leveled up, actually. Right? That probably would... No, it wouldn't have gone up. Okay, we'll just say it's 12. Either way, either one of those, it hits. I don't know, uh... Yeah, no, it's 12. All right. So its sword swings down, catching you in the leg. And it does. Um, it does three points of damage. Oh, okay. <sighs> Can I move at all? I have to wait for my turn to move. Yes. All right, Bergamot, it is your turn. I um, I'm gonna just charge the chief uh, battle battle axe drawn. Remember, oh, these goblins flank. are gonna get an attack yeah. of opportunity. Yeah, remember the attack of opportunity. Okay, well you where should do you, wanna you be should about? try to flank. I'll just um, yeah, I'll just come around uh, in between then. Um, cause Do Dodden's not a uh, cause Dodden's gonna no, run I'll behind just, the tree. Um, I'll actually I'll um. Get sort of. Um, I thought he already did. Something. Where do you want me to move? He hasn't had a chance to move yet. Right if you move here. right <laughs> there, uh, Bergamot. Right here. Or right here. Can he get to here and still attack? Cause, yeah, I can um, attack either of those. Yes. Squares. Okay. And then that way, also, um, she can come up and be behind them, like yeah. on either side of them. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And I'm gonna um, attack the one uh, by the door, uh, Battle Axe. So how did he go um, through them without yeah, no, them getting in the you, you could Oh, I didn't run around behind, though? Because I have, like, it, 30. So, if you move through those squares past him, he will get an attack of opportunity on you. So you Doden? could move... No, Doden? the guy that attacked you. Oh. What if I just stop? If you move to right there, then he... Yeah, you could move to there. Ah, it's not letting me. Can I move directly you, behind you, the you one could, that just attacked Ada? Right here? Yeah. No, because then you have to move through two squares. You oh, I see. Okay, so, right there. But you can run will, around and get to there. I'll go to there, and I will uh, swing with the battle axe. All right. Now you can't say anything about elder gods, because they just whispered to you. Right. They, <laughs> that was a noisy Ooh. whisper. Ooh. Uh, that's a miss. Those elder gods weren't working with you. Um, what would you roll? A four. Four, yeah, no, that's, that's, dead. A, that's, <laughs> that's a miss. Even with any any additions, that's a miss. All right, um, this goblin guard moves down to here, oh, moves to there, and attacks you. But that means that you're flanked, mm -hmm. uh, so you lose your dex bonus on your AC. He swings and attacks bonus. Nope. and misses. All right. Why are you so? We're so freaking lucky. I'm charismatic. They look at me and they're like, oh, slash slash. Um, and then Bergamot's like, ding! It's because you're all clean. Ding! I look all like, I look more like... Tear Girl they're, they're raises his one hand and starts saying uh, okay. an incantation. Oh. And a single bolt flies out and hits Ada. 
Ah, uh, why and me? It does two points of damage. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I might have to heal myself. You guys can learn that, right? Yeah, you guys yeah, can um, spell so sight. Yeah, so I have spell sight now, so... I have spell sight too. I would love to know what he's throwing at me. All right. Do I have to roll something yep. for that? You oh. roll it, add, um, let's see, you have to beat, um, whoa, I beat it. 14. Holy crap. <laughs> that, <laughs> that beats 20? it. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Old dice. What do I have to beat? You. Um, you have to beat, this is the dice uh, the it is DC, I can't yeah. remember, remember that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 14. Oh no, it's 15 plus Woo. plus the mana cost, so you have to be to 16. All right, 17. All right, uh, you guys both. So it takes mana. Both learned Mage Bolt. Okay. Um, Mage Bolt is a lot like Wild Magic, it, but it costs one mana, but it never misses. Ha -ha. So it, it does 1d4 plus Excellent. one damage I'm gonna and never misses. I'm going to use that on that, like all, everyone. Um, so it uses mana to do spell sight, sight right? No. Okay. So no, I'm that's gonna... just an ability. Okay. All right. Next up is this other goblin, and it's gonna step forward. Oh no. And attack Zyla. Uh. -uh. What's your AC, Zyla? Fifteen. So I guess I'm better off flanking somebody so that. Hopefully... And his sword uh, bites into your side ah. for so three points now. of damage. Ugh. Ada, is your Ooh. turn. Guys. Guys. Ooh. Okay. Um so how much does it cost to use um the mage bolt? One one point. And that would be my full turn? Mm hmm Okay. So do you think I'm better off like just no, like I'm better off at just shooting wild magic at these two and then later on saving the mage bolt and mana for healing myself? Yeah, use wild well, magic. Well, so now, because of the attacks of opportunity, if you cast a spell while next to the goblin, he gets an attack of opportunity. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to cast a spell at the goblin, like... Right. Um, you, so you is have he to considered flank because Anton's take on that side? Take a step back. He is, but if you move back, he won't be flanked anymore. Okay. So, basically, your choice is you can have him with lower decks and, have, and he'll swing Wait, did sword. I get an attack of opportunity when he hit me? No. Okay. Because that's a melee attack. Oh, when you cast it. a spell or shoot a bow, they get an attack of opportunity on you. Got it. Okay. So if you step back, he gains his dex bonus back. If you cast where you're at, he he gets he a swing at you. I don't want him swinging at me, so I'll take a step back and I will shoot wild magic at him so I'm not using my mana. All right. Roll. Oh. No. No. Nope. Sort of fizzled in your hand. All right, so your bolt um, flies and sputters out before it hits him. Uh, yeah. Next up is um, Dodden, who slowly backs up oh. over to the tree. <clears throat> Zyla, it's your turn. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna attack that goblin that's right in front of me because they're so stupid. Okay. <clears throat> And so if I use a ranged weapon, they get an attack of opportunity because mm -hmm. right next to me. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to attack it with my short sword. All right. you got to give it at least 20 rolls for average. All right, so the goblin that attacked Ada turns around to attack Bergamot. What's your AC, Bergamot? 15. I'm just making sure I got them all right. What did yours say? Mine says 16. I think maybe, we, like, you gave us uh, one point level up when we leveled up. No, that's not how. Because you, don't, 
You don't gain AC when you level up. I'm just trying to figure out why would you have one extra <clears throat> point for us? Well, that was one of those things that like maybe we decided we were doing wrong last time and we forgot no. to make a note of it. I don't know. After this, I need everyone to leave their character sheet, so I'm going to go through Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So he attacks you and misses. Woo! Bergamot, it is your turn. And you uh, all right. And actually, well, you're flanked, but I forgot that. So, um, so right now, you're flanked by these two guys. Mm -hmm. So you, you could move to here or here and not provoke attack of opportunity, but then you wouldn't be I flanked do. anymore in the next round. Yeah, I'll move right up into the top center here. Yeah, that's good enough. And uh, I'll just uh, swing my battle axe right at uh, that guy right in front of me. All right. <coughs> nope. Do that thing thing? An ah. eight does not hit. All right, next up. Switch it dice. This goblin runs to here. And oh, attacks no. Bergamot. <laughs> and he misses as well. Yay! Alright. So it is now Teargrim's turn. And he casts. Jeez. Ooh. All right, I gotta pull up a little thing for this. I just remembered how squishy we are. Yeah, why? Why did we do this, you guys? At least we didn't run in this time. Like, at least we kind of talked, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it fine. didn't really work in our favor. But goblins are. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Hey. All right. What is that? Um, he. Ah! Holds out his hand ah! and uh, says a few things. Learn it, learn it. Mm -hmm. um, That's probably way above my mana, yeah, like my mana grade. Well, right you guys now. can still, still try learn to learn it. All right. I guess so. Um, so you guys roll a spell site. New dice. So now I don't. I want to make sure you guys did it right this last time. When you roll spell site. Um, it is, uh, it's detailed further in chapter on magic. That's not what I want. Well, um, either way, I suck. Okay, what'd you roll? A four. Okay, you're not learning it. Uh, Bergamot? I rolled a ten, which is not enough. Do you see that? All, everything else. So you add your spellcraft bonus to your roll. Just make sure that you're doing that. That still won't help you. 13. <laughs> no, um, so I'm and no, 13. Not, not you either. Okay, so a burning globe of fire rolls in whatever direction that Tigram points and burns those it strikes. Um, so the flaming sphere rolls up towards Ada. Give me a reflex save. Mm. <laughs> Let's see, reflex. Six. Woo! Six All right. points. S six mm -hmm. reflex. That's adding your reflex. Yeah. All right. Um, it was a five so plus a one. That flaming sphere hits you. No. And does five points of damage. Well, oh I'm down to one hit point, so I will be healing myself next round. <sighs> you guys. Guys, does she get any more movement after? Can she move like away, like towards the door? Or anything? Uh, during her action, yes. Uh -huh. But she I already remember to use her uh, action. All right, you're healing ourselves before we enter into the next big room. This, uh, the goblin to uh, the right of Zyla attacks her. Attacks Zyla. Or Zyla okay. and does seventeen plus. Yeah, that hits. Uh, and it does six points of damage to Zyla. What? Oh wait, no, no. I'm sorry. Sorry, I rolled a d six. It does five points of damage. What? Gosh, I just guys. rolled a four on a d4. You guys. Okay, so Diana. at this point, do we run away, or do we, like, ask Dodden to maybe use some hoodoo magic or something? Right? Do goblins do like? I don't think Dodden's going to be on our side. I don't think so either. 
Especially because we're Especially not losing. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be like, um, no. But you promise. Uh, Ada, is your turn. Gosh. Okay. Run away. I'm gonna heal myself. So, hold on, because I know that's a talent, but also a spell of mine. Yes. Yeah, so. so, which one, guys? If they, if they like knock us out, they're just gonna take us and strip us down. Okay. So take just all a of our stuff again. Just mm-hmm. again. <laughs> so. Put dirty socks in her mouth. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna use one of my mana to heal uh, myself. I'm gonna roll 1d8 plus 1. Two points and hit points. Yay. Two extra hit points. <sighs> Alright, and now you can move 30 feet if you want. One of the only... Well, I don't know if I should say that. If you tried to get maybe closer to any of the ones next to me, then... They can hit me? Right, but we would get a blanking, or they'd lose their dexterity. I don't think losing the dexterity is our problem at this point. This flaming fireball is still active, correct? Yep. So I'm going to move... How many? Is it five per space? Would I be out of the range Five if I moved to about there? Um, it rolled over. It popped up in the middle of the room and rolled over and hit you. Could so move next to Dodman <laughs> with the thirty feet. I guess I could <clears throat> move. Let's see. That'd be fifteen feet. And could I do anything else? Or I guess because I cast heal. a heal, yeah. I can't do anything else. Are we staying in here, guys? Well, I mean, you already moved I, to there. I mean, we must have three hit points, and so... And also, um, Bergamot is sort of squared off now. Yeah. You need to do, like, a heroic action or something, dude. Or, you know, you guys Runaway. did learn spells that are guaranteed hits. Yeah. So, my I'm going to focus my mage... What is it called? Mage, mage bolt? bolt? Yep. On... Him, but then again, I don't want to use up mana because I can't heal. Wait, oh, you have PR. spell sight now. Did you learn my healing spell? No. When did you do it? Just now. Just your now. turn, just over. Yeah. Is it too late for me to roll and see? No, you can roll. You haven't learned heal already. No, because you just learned spell sight. Okay. Nope. All right. We're so great, you guys. Woo. Okay. Um. So Dodden moves behind the tree, um, and now it is Zyla's turn. Okay. Um, so I can back can away. Can you get all the way to this guy and, um, like, can you go out of these guys' range? Because you're fast. You can move fast. Could you go all the way here and flank him and hit him? I don't know what my range is. No, she has 20-foot movement because she's small. Oh, I thought because she was fast and stuff. Because she has run. Oh, you have yeah. single oh. use, though, isn't Three it? times per combat as a single move action per round, you can move double your normal speed with yeah. no disadvantage while running. You retain your dexterity bonus to your AC. Yeah, so you could run all the way up to... <laughs> and to and not being, like, those guys okay. couldn't have um, well, attack of opportunity. She could run. She she. There's a path that she could do that wouldn't. One, two, three, four, And five. I could be, like, right next to Dodd and... Well, you or you yeah. could go right, he, like right here. <clears throat> yeah, and, if you went um, right there, then we'd have flank a flank him. bonus on that guy. Because um, are you coming up? Well, because which which one's twenty one? That this guy is that one, and then so it'll go you, that guy, Bergamot, and then that guy. So between you and Bergamot, hopefully you guys can nail that guy. Yeah, we can do that. Or if you don't do that, but I'll just, um, I'll just run up and attack the chief if you don't do that. I don't need to use my run if I'm doing that, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20. You want to move here? Sure. And attack? Can I move an attack? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And now we get the, um, <coughs> the flank bonus on him. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, good, because I thought we had to wait. 
No, because it's your, your attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then he'll have a flank bonus, too, because this guy's not going to have a chance to move before both of you guys go. I'm going to have to ask you, Mike, what do I get for flanking? What what? He loses his dex bonus to his AC, and you get to do sneak attack, which is 1e6 extra. Okay. Isn't that what your sneak attack says in front of you, your card? A rogue can use sneak attack to an enemy that's distracted, flanked, or flat-footed. Oh, it doesn't say, but yes, it's 1d6. I believe it goes up next at third level. <clears throat> so, you roll. Okay. Like attack. Thirteen total? Yeah. Alright, and these guys. Uh, well maybe with his his decks being taken away or his rivers being taken away. Um I just remembered. Yeah, flat footed is thirteen. Yes. Okay. So right, I get so an hits. extra yep. D6. What? You hit? Woo! <laughs> guys, look! So I'm already doing one D six plus one and then I get an extra D six. Nice. Okay, well, maybe I'll just move it down to one at a time. So that's four plus six. So ten. So you stab him right in the base of his skull and pull it out, and he falls to the ground. Dead. Woo! Finally. Yeah! Good strategizing. Woo! <laughs> we All did right. something, guys. Well, you guys did something. Woo! Next up, the Goblin Guard. Uh, below Bergamot. Swings to attack. And Bergamot's AC is 15. Misses. Oops. Bergamot, it's your turn. Alright. No. Um, I'm just gonna... About to get us all killed. <laughs> yeah, I'm running right up to the, uh, to the uh, big guy, and I want to try using uh, Mage Bolt. Because, uh, from my understanding, it's a guaranteed hit. Yes. Um, but you wouldn't want to run right up to him because then he gets an attack of opportunity. So you want to stay well, at least one back. Could I, if I was up on the ledge, could I um, still be able to like swing down and hit somebody on the ground level? I know that guy's dead, but like, would there be any reason? No, you, you get one. You get a move and an attack action. So if you cast Magic Bolt, Mage Bolt, that's it. No, I just meant from like my position for later. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll, um, I'll just stay right there then. Um, to do my uh, my mage bolt. All right. So I don't have to roll for the hit. I just roll. Yep. Um, so that means that you lose. You have one mana, right? Yeah, I only have one. So you're yeah, spending one mana to three. cast that. Yep. And there's literally nothing else I can spend mana on. Yeah. Yeah. So roll one d four plus one. Four. Woo! A whopping four. We said something, but that's yeah. that's above average. And yeah, All right. really doesn't have so a lot of it blasts part of his body that's covered in the bark, and it knocks away, and like white pus streams down skin. Uh, his bark-like skin. Oh, and that just made my singing like that much more. You're about to like, turn louder. that into hot book. <laughs> mm, You're like, pull out my my water skin and save that for later. All right, Teargrim <laughs> oh. moves his hand. Yes. Oh, God. Moves his hand, and the flaming sphere rolls across the ground towards Xyla. Xyla, <gasps> no, no. roll a reflex save. Reflex, quick. Oh, God. Can I, what is it? Can is I try and learn it again? No, because he didn't cast it again. He's Your just reflexes. controlling it. I roll a d20 for that, right? Yes. Okay. And then whatever. 18. 18? Yeah. It rolls and you dodge right out of the way. Yes. It does no damage Wait, to you. Wait, did you add this to you? Yeah, but she already got you it. You were more than 18. I was adding my ability modifier. Do you add your reflex, like your total reflex, or your ability mod modifier for your reflex? You add your whole reflex. Okay. Oh, so, so it was like 21 then. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, She's he, a swift one. Then, that, that uh, he casts Mage Bolt. And it hits to me. No, it's a oh, wait, Bergamot. you have eyes. This spell is already cast. He could direct oh. it as a free action, and now uh, he's casting. 
and it did three points of damage to Bergamot. Right. Am I allowed to roll again to see what that spell is? Because the spell's still active? No. Okay. Only when they cast it. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, that. Oh, well. Sorry. I'm still listening. Alright. This goblin moves here and then here and attacks Zyla. And misses. With a two is a miss. Woo! Ada, it's your turn. Okay, I guess I am gonna... I'm gonna throw a mage bowl at, um, uh, what's his name? Tyrgrim? Tyrgrim, the cheese? Trist McGrist? Tyrgrim, the Gerblin. Okay. <laughs> All right, so then I just roll for damage on that then? Yep. And what was it, a d4? 1d4 plus 1. Now, does the damage from his saw, like, the, does that add to it or no? Um, no. Okay. That's only for uh, physical attack. Four, five points nice. of damage. Yeah. I nice. did something! Yay. Yes! Um, it hits his leg that's also covered in bark, and it splits it open. Mm. Uh, and uh, an awful smell fills the room, and more pus pours oh. out. Oh. <laughs> Save like that for later. Oh, it's, it's like a normal. goblin STD. It's like a uh, next up is Dodden, who's just crouching behind the tree, trying not to be noticed. Hi, All right, Dodden. Zyla. Wait, um, can we do a check to see if we noticed him trying not to be noticed? <laughs> you can, yes. Right. Doing it. Five. I did not even notice Dodden back there. He is doing a Four. great job. Because no. yeah. it's so hard Good to get job, you guys Dodden. to not. Good job, Dodden. Man. We're just wasting up those bad rolls on him, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so um, you have a fireball to the south of you. I'm going to back up so I can use Look right here. my short bow because it does or right here. more damage. Right. Up the steps, maybe one. Or I get a better attack bonus. Okay, how far <laughs> do you want to back up? Um, just maybe one like that. All right, roll attack. Um, fifteen. Fifteen. Um, is that now? Are you? Did you start singing? At the very yes, beginning? Yes, did. So I'm refreshing that. my sing. Oh, yeah, because that's what started the whole round. Is that including his plus one, uh, the 15? Then you miss. Crap. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up is this one. Um, and he moves here and then over here to Xyla. Uh oh. Which means that... Anton gets an attack of opportunity. Mm-mm. Right? Yep. Yep. Wait, I'm on the ledge, though. He still, he still moved through a space that, that threatens oh, you. Yeah, so. that's sort of what I was asking before. Is like, if I'm up on a ledge, does that make that space below me still adjacent? Sure, or yeah. I thought you meant, like, could you go up, cast, and then jump down to No, attack I meant, like, for later reference. Like, like, if I'm up on a ledge and someone is... Easily. <laughs> He charisma that I said, ledge. I said, I thought he was going to jump up, cast a spell, and then attack someone with his charisma. <laughs> he just just kidding. Have... He attacks everybody with his charisma. <laughs> yes. All right, so, yes, roll it's a very attack. What, what do you have in your hand? Is it your battle axe? Mm-hmm. All right, so you get one free attack at him as he ran by. Yes. All right, so I don't have to roll to see if it hits. Yep. Mm, 13, 14 to see if it hits. 14 misses. Yeah. Oh. Um, all right. Really? I feel like you've got... Their um, AC is 16, so you guys... Oh, no, AC. it's uh, 15, oh, because okay. plus one, plus one. Yeah. Yeah. Still, there's 16. If these guys were all 15, then you'd be racking up. It attacks Xyla and rolls a 17. Plus, <gasps> yeah, no. so it hits. And it does <coughs> three points of damage. Oh, <laughs> she's flatlined. You're down? Yep. Yep. Oh, guys, I only have two points or two manas to, like, heal. Yeah, but one of them can be that heal that, like, you roll for, right? Hmm? Like my talent? No, no, your talent just helps if so. Like, you could go stabilize her, yes. Mm-hmm. But Does that, that use my turn, though? Yes. And if someone's nearby, well, they get attacked When she was able to run, she still, could still attack, though, right? Yeah, but that's that just doubles your movement. 
Okay. That's, and, okay, and, that, and that would also different. provoke an attack of opportunity if you try to do that. But okay. if you ran up, well, if you ran up and, and cast a spell, as long as you'd have to go past her, so okay. that way you're not doing yeah. it. All right, Bergamot, it is your turn. That one guy down there is still within your range. Um, with your battle axe. Um, or there's the riskier thing where you can try to pull mana from yourself to get extra mana, but then... That takes your hit point? What does that Yeah, it would take... It, Don't do that. It cost, it cost you a hit point to try to cast it. Don't do that. If you make your successful roll. That's if, and that would only give me. Um, so I would. So like, I'm thinking if I kill. Him so I could go at him. If I kill, um, I think it's safe to think that if that if I kill the chief, then that spell of the fireball will at yep. least dissipate. Mm -hmm. So. Um, go after the chief. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm gonna go for. Uh, the odds are the same, um, but I'll go for. Um, uh, crossbow because I don't get any melee bonus. Um, so there's no reason for me to get up to uh, melee range. Okay. So I'd say to move over one so that way the guy next to you doesn't get attack of opportunity yep. while you shoot. Alright, and then roll up a d20. You guys haven't seen the Chief's AC yet because you've just been casting stuff that hits him. If I um if I move to right here to fire, then um we would still get. A, You'd um, still walk in his range, though. Oh, I couldn't just walk past Zyla. Can he walk over Zyla if she's down? Yeah, you could go over there. Okay. I mean, because then wouldn't that still leave this guy with no decks? He can still kind of hit you, though. Right, but he would at least have no. You'd decks. have to be like here for him not to hit you. <clears throat> I was just trying to give uh, the, the flanking bonus to Laura, even though she's down. All right. Um, but he still gets an attack of opportunity because you walked right by him. Well, well I, I think Mike was saying that he could he could have walked around yeah, me. Walk but that puts you at the attack of opportunity for tear group. That's no, true. Because I was here, and I can walk diagonal. Yeah. Right. Can you walk diagonal? Mm -hmm. I didn't know this. Where you walk out? Okay, so he's gonna go right there. Okay. Right. All right, roll an attack. 18, I don't even need anything. Plus, yeah, so 20. Uh, so that, right, that hits, roll damage. Seven, eight. Yes. yes. The, the arrow goes right into his eyeball, mm. that's the side that's covered in bark, and pus squirts out of it. My eye! Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, you get the later. <laughs> you can't do that. You're your best uh, Yeah, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> um, and then next up is his turn. Oh, the, no. The flaming sphere snuffs out of existence. Oh. And he runs over to here and down to here, and there's a little mm. tunnel. Yeah, I Just see big that. enough for him mm. to get in. Uh -uh. Little slimy right. bastard. How can we run with one leg? We blasted his leg off. No, he's oh. hobbling. He he's didn't hobbling. blast it. He still he's... had the leg. We just, um, his bark And he skin. scoots down that tunnel. He's like a tree that, you know, like grows out around something, mm. you know? Like there's the arrow, but it's like probably all like embedded and whatnot. All right. This goblin moves forward to oh, I think it was safe and to attacks say Ada. He was all bark and no bite. <laughs> <laughs> and Ada, that Wait, Dodden moved. Do we notice? That's not Dodden. <laughs> okay. It's the other one, and it hits you for two points of damage. Well, oh. I'm down to one again. Ada, it's your turn. Heal yourself with all your mana. But then I won't be able to heal Zyla. And he's in my way. Like, he... Okay. Maybe if you heal yourself, he can learn healing, and run, then he can then try to He's used me. his mana, so. Run, and then heal yourself. I'm going to run over to towards Dodden. Anywhere oh. where you are out of range. Oh, it's trying to me. Okay. And I'm going to try and learn that heal. And then I'm going to, God, then I only have, okay. It doesn't matter. I can only heal one more time, you guys. Okay, so yeah, I'm healing. Yeah, but you can only die once, 1d8. 
Right. I've got to look at it. I'm gonna... Get 1d8 plus 1. Yeah. So four points. So I'm up to five. If I rolled a 15, do I get to uh, <laughs> learn that spell? Um, did you roll a 15? With the, with the um, modifier. No, it has to be 16. It's 15. 15 plus. But did you, add your, did you add your spellcraft yeah. to it? Yeah. So it has to be 15 plus the mana cost. So it would be, it'd be actually 16 for the heal spell. Yeah, and I rolled a but 15. Outside of this, now she can teach you that, and you can get bonuses to learn. We just have to take time to do it. Yep. All right, Zyla, give me a, uh, a stabilization roll. Is that a d20? Uh, yes. <clears throat> do I add anything to it? Um, as usual, I can't remember stuff, so I'm... Pulling it up real quick. I rolled a five, so it probably <laughs> did not no. stabilize. No uh, so you what lose one hit point. <gasps> what? How? Oh. She didn't stabilize. Um. Oh wait. So you add a you add fortitude to it, but that wouldn't even help you. No, because it's zero. Yeah. All right. So you lose one more hit point, and then. Bergamot's nasty. You're so nasty. All right, this goblin jumps over Zyla, lands here, and attacks Bergamot. Oh, and hits. And Bergamot, you take three points of damage. What are you at? Four. Ugh. All right, Guys, Ber Bergamot, it is your turn. It's honey. What? Honey flavor. What is it? Really weird. The jelly wings? wings? Oh. <laughs> no, the thought we were in the game. The buzz was like, from it's butterscotch flavored. <laughs> um, Is everything butterscotch flavored? To bergamot, yes. <laughs> Does Ada have a favorite flavor? <laughs> um, question: Do fawns have taste buds? Yes. Are they like as elaborate as like an elfling or a human? More so. Well, it depends, on, it depends on how much bergamot has burned his taste buds out. So. <laughs> I also have a healthy, wet nose. <laughs> What's that have to do with taste? Because it helps it helps uh, enhance my senses. You know how dogs and cats get that double taste where they like double smell everything? <laughs> okay, too many flavors. All right, so. <laughs> uh, I'm going to swing that battle axe at the Grand Bomblin right next to me. All right, roll attack. 13. Total? Yes. It's a miss. I think. All right. Hey. What? We're playing. We're, playing we're talking here. jelly beans sorry, right now, okay? Sorry. We're talking jelly beans. Mm -hmm. They're I not just, just an espresso you're, jelly bean, by the way. You're, it's not an average, like, right, what's your basket jelly bean. These are gourmet jelly beans. What is your AC minus your dex bonus? He doesn't have a dex bonus. Right. Oh, you don't have one. So being flanked doesn't matter to you. All right. And they hit. And it does two points of damage. Oh, gee. Ada, oh, it's your turn. Okay, I am going to, if I move over, I guess, to here? No, nope, you're moving through a... A tree? No, you're moving through his range oh. so he'd be able to attack you. Well, if I move to his range, can he be flanked? But then he can also... Sure, yeah. But he also hits me, right? No, no. just moving first. one forward. It's moving through a space. Okay. So I'm gonna flank him, I guess, right? Okay. Um. So and then I guess I'm better off for, um doing like my let's see. I guess my wild magic at him right now has better yeah. chance to hit. Yeah, we're gonna say that. Um, uh, Sixteen magic abilities. Mm -hmm. Don't count the same as spells because you're just like basically blasting mm -hmm. it out where. It takes a standard action like to cast a spell, yeah. which provokes an attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, Sorry. Blast, you're, you're blasting it out. Blast. Yeah. There's probably some people that blasted it out this morning. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Anyways, so I rolled um, with Sorry. modifiers. That, that, I rolled a 16. That hits. Roll so, damage. So um, 1d4 plus 1 plus 1, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Six points of damage. Um, you blast him right in the side of the head, and he flips over and lands on top of Xyla. Oh! No! That means I can't stand up, right? You can't stand up anyways! Yeah. Well, I mean, you were like, out if I roll to... You were out. I might get to roll again, though, to see if I... I was about to take a drink of this. Mike's really trying to put him on top of Xyla. Xyla just wants the barky, pussy dude. Alright, um, Xyla, give me a roll. Fortitude. So, uh, uh, what's your fortitude? Addition? No bonus. Nothing. So, you guys always have to roll the things that you don't have bonuses <laughs> yep. in. Naturally. Three? No, that's not. A, you lose <laughs> another. <laughs> that is not. Man. <laughs> All right. This last oh. goblin guard attacks Bergamot from behind. And misses Bergamot. It is your turn. Mm. Kill him. All right. Kill him. Since you said so. And then let's peep down the tunnel to see if Mr. Pussy Bark Barky Puss is down there. Uh, Y'all just gonna leave me? I'm gonna heal you. I've got one oh, mana. Wait. Yeah. This mana. Yeah, that was right. Has Xyla written on it. Uh, twelve. No. Twelve dead. misses. <laughs> Almost. All right, Ada, it's your turn. Okay. So I guess I'm out of range of said you can run. bad goblin, right? You can move. There's only one goblin there, like, left. Yes, we can't see Dodden, remember? Away. Yeah, <laughs> Dodden's <laughs> gone. Um, so I can move forward and heal Zyla? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to use my last mana. Whew, for Wait, that. Let's kill the guy first. Well, if Zyla's, uh, like, with it, then... Like she's got, she's the next on initiative. So I feel like I should try to heal her. Right. Not gonna have any sane. Is this gob? Has this goblin like taken yeah. a lot of damage? I haven't paid much attention no. to him. No. He hasn't taken. You guys any. have either one shot at them or completely missed them. That's the. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. I think that's a solid strategy. That having three people fighting. <laughs> Yeah. It's better than... The, I'm going to heal him, or I'm going to heal Zyla, so then I roll... As long as you roll better than a one. Or yeah. a <laughs> so, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to heal two, her, so. so I roll a um, 1d8 to heal. 1d8 plus one. Four, five. Five? All right. Zyla goes up to three, and she stands up and pushes the dead goblin off of her. Ugh! <sighs> She's next. Right, okay. Next up, Zyla. Wait, Dodden moved, right? Was he? Uh, you him? wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to check. Fourteen? Nope. Nope. Maybe not. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job, Dodden. So, Zyla, there's one left. I'm gonna go for it with my crossbow or my short bow. Um, once again, Elder God whispering, "You're a rogue." Go behind him. Yeah, loses his dex him. bonus. You do a sneak oh, attack. Can I do that? Yes, yeah, like right now. Just go like yes. right here. I didn't know I could like sneak yeah. attack and hit at the same turn. Yeah, like go yes. right here. It's an attack. It's just so attack. long as you are flanking him, it counts as a sneak attack. Okay. <clears throat> so then I can't use my short. The bow, elder god. Has no, focus no, you had to use your short sword. Yes. <laughs> or you could use one of those new swords we just picked up. Well, it's her legacy weapon, so if she rolls a 19 on it, then she gets a... Yeah. A 19? So you roll a 12 plus 13, what? 13, 14. Yeah. All right, and minus your dex bonus is 13, so you hit. What? Ooh. Yeah, because he... Yes. Cause How you many times... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you she's, stop she's organizing jelly beans and pay attention? <laughs> I know. There's like five Thank rules you. that you guys hey. can't hey. remember. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to okay. explain this with jelly beans? Because <laughs> we can. So you All roll right, so 1d6 damage I mean, plus 1d6 plus 1 plus 1d6. <laughs> no, you just don't Don't red. take Three, the jelly beans. Four. And did you yeah. add my plus 1? Yes. Oh. Six points of damage. All right, you Not stab him dead. in the back, and he falls down dead. Oh. Yay! We killed somebody! Can we have a shot now? Yes. <laughs> we will do a shot, and then we'll take a quick break. 
Hey, Dodden, you scruffy little so-and-so. You still in here? Yeah, hello. Be there? Just maybe a little half seat. I'm going to roll again to see if I can see Dodden. 20. Natural now, 20. Now you see all him. Right. Good job. Do you, you all of a sudden have x-ray vision? So, you can see through the tree. So to <laughs> clearing a room, not dying, and I'll well, be I damned died. if you guys are I going died. to learn <laughs> what dex and strength and what your characters Never! can do. <laughs> Look, my card does not say his dex isn't there when it's played. <laughs> All right. All right, and we'll be right back. Oh, I'm more I jelly never did my shot. Whoops. I can pretend to be one. <laughs> All right, so you guys finally scored a big win. Woo! Woo! Finally, we yes. did it, and none of us, every single one of us, is conscious. Like, but usually is still there. Yes, Dodson is that his new name? Wait, what was it? It's Dodden. Oh, Dodson. <laughs> Dodson. I mean, Dodson. <laughs> old car, old <laughs> goblin <laughs> works. Well, there's right, an old so, car called the Gremlin. There is. Um, what do you guys want to do now? Do you have a bunch of dead goblins around you? You have Dodden. Let's pilfer their pockets. Hiding behind yes. the tree. I want to um, search the room. I want it. Actually, um, hey Dodden, uh, I know you're in this room. Uh, I know that for a fact because I just rolled a 20. So I know you are. <laughs> but uh, turn around for a minute because I don't want you to watch what I'm about to pry out of the mouths of these three dead gramblins. Oh, the tooth fetish. I forgot. I didn't. <laughs> so uh, Dodden doesn't look while he's hiding while I do that, and that's done there. Uh, go ahead and and you gotta roll a persuasion versus what? uh Dodden. Could we at least talk to him first and maybe got some info before you like traumatize him I... even more? Like first you killed him in front of his own people. Now you're gonna pry the teeth out like in front of him. Now you tell me. You've known me. This is what I do. Okay. All right, roll persuasion. Nope. There goes Dodden's help. Um, he, so and you start pulling out teeth? Well. Is that a sanity thing? Um. Mm, good question. I guess we should have talked about that before because that's something I've been doing this whole game. And yeah. it's insane. <laughs> yeah. Like Only if they were alive. Um, I mean, I think so. But in front of an innocent, trophies. like no, exposing them to something. I would, I would say that it's not, um, because these creatures are sort of grotesque. So True. I'll let it go on a sanity roll. Um, but as far as it rolls, you don't know that you're not affect, like that you think that you are very persuasive. So you would just go ahead and pull out the teeth because you thought that you told him. I mean, I rolled well, 11. Okay. Um, and which also, by the way, always tell me the numbers, because sometimes you're rolling against the person. Well, and I've got the, uh, yeah, I mean, I've got seven for charisma, so. Right. Well, I'm just saying, but you rolled you rolled and said, oh, I didn't do it. So you guys got to remember to tell me the numbers, because you were actually rolling against his uh, awareness. Okay. And so, like, you can't tell me that you didn't make it, because he could have rolled a five or something. Okay. Oh. Um, but anyways, so you, you start pulling out the teeth and Dodden just starts crying and he's like, why, why is, why is this what I am stuck with? Why is this my life? Gosh, why would you do that? I'm asking really? the You're same surprised? question. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to go over and try to talk to Dodden a little bit. Okay. I'll go over there with you. Like, first I'm going to be like, Standing, hug. well, no, I'm literally going to be standing like at least in a way where it's like a, I'm not that big, but hopefully between the two of us, we can like shadow Bergamot just while like, he should we say, I'm sorry, Dad, this is just a thing that he does. We just met the guy like a couple days ago, honestly. Yeah, anyways, but I want to know, tooth fairy, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I want to know. What what about you? Like, why did you 
seek a different route versus everyone else? Like, what makes you different than everyone? I also want to know more about your chief, because obviously he's still alive. How, how soon is he going to uh, come back full energy? And, you know, did he have control over you guys? Or were, was it like a willing following of him? Um, so... First, and roll a persuasion check to see if he's going to open up to you after he's been. What'd you roll? A four? Yeah. All right. Um, he, I'm not charismatic, okay? Uh, he turns to you whimpering and he says, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Don's family has always advised the chiefs. Oh. And we recently just came back to this world and we're trying to find a place for our people. This From what world? world? From the between. Oh, jeez. Uh, roll a uh, knowledge check. Can I do a bardic knowledge check to... You're pulling teeth. Sure. No, but he, he heard, so he <laughs> okay. can... Yeah, he can roll bardic knowledge. Xyla <laughs> doesn't Three, uh, anything. five. <laughs> Ten. Ten? Um, oh, um, plus... Um, yeah, so it's your knowledge. Eleven? eleven? Okay. Um, yeah. So you know that the uh, in-between is something that people have theorized as a space between the two universes. A space between um, the, uh, the Euteria and... Uh, the Nibiru. So, um, the, your your clan of fawns was not stuck in the between, but some were. Mm. Um, so after the disappearance, when all the elves and all the magic left, some creatures got stuck sort of in a ghost world in between the places. Huh. Um, so Do Dodden continues, um, because Ar Archie found, found the big bad tree, the gross tree, and he took a, a, a limb from it, which he made a staff out of. And that's when he got all strange looking. And the other goblins started listening to everything he said after he got that staff. Well, this chief sounds like, Dodd and this chief sounds like he has been corrupted. And therefore he has corrupted everyone else around you. Sounds like a bad guy. Maybe you should consider taking over. <laughs> My people wouldn't follow me. I only did it because it's the only thing I could do. If I went to where you big people are, everyone would just hurt me. Gosh, I feel really bad now. Um, where else can can you go that's not the in-between? Like, where did you go, where were you at before the in-between? My people always just were. Big people always hunted us. Can't we, will you let us help you find a place that might be better suited to your people where you won't come into as much conflict as you have lately? I, I would gladly go with you. My people probably wouldn't. Okay. Um, is this tree something, this tree, do you think it's a source of energy? Like, do you think that we need to destroy this it? This tree was grown from a seed from the big tree. Mm -hmm. This is a, a sapling that's about three feet tall. What's the name of this tree? Or Dodden, do you know what this uh, type of tree is called? Or can I maybe use the some The just called it the holy tree. Okay. Do you guys think we need to destroy this tree? I think so. I think it's a bad influence on their chief and is leading their chief to make a lot of bad decisions for their people. Would you be okay if we destroyed this so that your future chief doesn't turn as disgusting as your last one? Dodden, do you have any personal uh, attachment If you to don't take it or destroy it, Chief Teargrim will come back and he will take this tree. Okay. Is this tree valuable to Teargrim? That, yes, he just said that. I mean, like, like, he seems very connected to it. Okay. You have an axe. At the I'd very, say um, you chop it down. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Um, I also am going to, um, so I will, um, I'll take um, axe or dagger or whatever, and I can chop down the tree and uh, wrap it up in the water skin around the trunk so that it stays alive. And also, I will make sure to- You're gonna keep the tree? We just found out just when he corrupt. made a staff, it turned him into that. I thought that was, I thought he was saying that like through magic that happened. Well then, like if we're killing the tree, that's fine. But uh, at the very least, I'm going to save some of the seeds. What if the seeds like could have slowly corrupt you, corrupt your heart? Yeah, if that you're freaks around, me out, man. Well, then you, you saw as... the pus that like spooged out at Tiergren. Like... Well, and plus this tree might not even have seeds. It's a sapling, right? No, uh, uh, Dodden just said that this tree was grown from a seed. Oh. Seed from the big tree. But it might still might not even have seeds at the moment. Trees just, don't always see, have seeds on them. I see value or uh, learning possibilities uh, from. You okay, do. Okay, I will. But uh... I was just trying to tell you what I was thinking. I felt like having a seed from something this valuable could, at the very least, we could find somebody on the other end. The elves might take a seed from this tree, and they might be able to use it for exceedingly good, good positive purposes, for all we know. If, if you see a notable dark or dismal or dark magic change I'm happen to me because I have awareness. these seeds, or let's all do an awareness check. I'm just trying to bring up the possibility that couldn't there be something very good that we could do with these seeds? You, you guys can do some kind of detect magic yeah. on the tree, right? Yeah, I can it. detect magic. Can <clears throat> I detect magic Go on the tree? Looks like 19. Is there a modifier on that or no? I mean, it doesn't really matter. No, detect magic, you just cast it and then mm -hmm. it glows. Um, but you wouldn't know if it's good or bad magic, would you? There is no good or bad magic. It's it's sort of like the force. It's just how it's used. Oh, um, okay. That's a, that's a well, different story. Um, hey, um... But there is corrupt magic that corrupts you. Mm -hmm. Like, there's magic out is there. Is it corruptive? Um, you wouldn't be able to tell that with detect okay. magic. Would Bardic Knowledge be able um, to know that? Um, could drum up any information about recognizing yeah. this tree. The, the, that's exactly what Bardic Knowledge would roll it up. Alright. But was it magical? Yes. Okay. Where it is? Uh, right? No, it's plus intelligence. Oh. Um, yeah, knowledge. Two, so that's 11 again. No, this is a 9. Yeah. Plus 2. So it's your knowledge. Yeah, so you get your knowledge yeah. total and your bardic check, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so um, nine plus five. It's fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you don't know anything specifically about a tree, but you know that this part of the Kaelnor Forest is called the Cursed Wood. So you don't know why. You can't remember why, but it might be something that you might want to take a note of and look up when you're in town. Um, I, I, I want to take a seed from this tree if I can find it, and I want you two to just, like, if you, if you... It's, it's a sapling, so there's no seeds on it. Okay, yet. then that conversation is done. Chop it down. Chop it down. Chop it down. Chop it. Do I need to roll to chop down this um, tree? With as bad as you, you guys roll, 20. just go ahead and... <laughs> just <laughs> take 20. Oh, wait, can you do take 20s wow. in your world? 18. 18. So Bergamot swings, his axe chops it off at the base, and it falls over, the leaves immediately withering, and a uh, white pus oozes out of the trunk Ugh. on either side. Did, did, did we just kill the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, get in there. Did we just kill the chief? Did we just kill part of the chief? Or do you think all that bark's just going to slide off of him? It's just going to be a bunch of white pus left on his body after all the... Hey, Dodden, what do you think? <clears throat> I have no idea how magic works. All right. So let's see if we can at least like make sure the chief isn't just sitting right at that tunnel, and maybe we can like move the throne in front of the tunnel or something and try to rest in this room. Hey, Doug, so where does as, that tunnel lead? Uh, oh, that's the chief's escape hole. And then uh, you guys look down it, and it's 
got little wooden trusses, and about uh, 20 feet in, uh, it's collapsed down. So it looks like oh. the chief collapsed the tunnel behind him. And so it was just big enough for his body. Mm -hmm. So it's not the kind of thing that like multiple people could be coming backtracking on, especially if it's okay. collapsed. Yeah, and then of hey, course. Hey, they said that the horn was um, in one of the other rooms, so you should probably be running over there. Okay. Don says, oh, that room? You probably need the key for it. Where's the key? That, he's trying to hand it Oh, <laughs> I, I was looking. You're playing with your face. <laughs> I can't help but play with my dice. I have it. All right, so Bergamot, I assume, dances over to the doorway. It's more what, of are you, a, what are you doing? It's more, more of, of a strut. Sashay. <laughs> Shante. What is a sashay? Uh, I think you should demonstrate for the camera what a sashay is, according to Bergamot. Well, uh, I mean, if Bergamot's going to sashay and you can't do it, then I, I feel mean, like that's not a good I feel like you got to do it. I'd have to do it across the table to give it the amount of flair that Bergamot would do. I think it you could with. just stand up and demonstrate. It would be embarrassing. <laughs> it would be embarrassing for me to try and do it as well as Bergamot could do it. All right. So uh, the you go over and unlock the door and open it up. And um, perception check. Awareness check. Uh, you don't really need There's awareness. There's sacks of stuff. Uh, looking into this room. Uh, you just see bags and bags of uh, cabbages mm, and forest cabbages. potatoes and oh, dried no. corn. Do we try to take that all back to the farmers? Um, and then also, in uh, as sleep. you peek in, yeah. you see a pile of stuff on the other wall. Uh, and you see the glint of coins and gems. And on top of all of it is a very special horn. Ooh, right. Let's go in there and uh, stuff wait. ourselves and then take a good nap. Yep. I sort of I sort of give a call back out the door. I say, oh, this is just a bathroom. And I sort of close the door and latch it real quick before Why? they come in. Because you don't know what's in the room. Oh. All that gold. You it took you that long to figure a out. Dirty, rotten liar. Well, you don't we know gotta that. watch this guy. You don't know that. So no, does he do um, so, that? Does he so do I need to? Um, no, I didn't really keep oh, okay. it a secret from you guys. Uh, I just oh. thought that would be funny. Um, so, um, like, I, I think it's safe to assume. Do I need to like roll anything, or can I just grab everything and then? Oh, you can always just grab whatever, and then just like walk out. Mm -hmm. um, all right, oh, so you wait. walk over and start grabbing up the loot, wait, and then wait. Why are we all in the room? Because we're all hanging out. <laughs> No, we all want to come and check it out. I guess because they don't trust you. <laughs> we don't trust you. Um, but the uh, you grab it all up, and then uh, as you're carrying it off, Zyla's like, well, glad it wasn't trapped. No, that we really shouldn't all be in the um, room. And so you bring out a couple bags worth of gems, uh, or a bag of, of coins, a small bag that has two gems in it, and uh, a couple other things. Who wants to write that down? You guys are the ones that are like, you know. Will you say it again? Um, so, we'll we'll say that you guys took a little bit of time, dug through stuff. Uh, there's 20 gold pieces, 33 silver pieces, and 238 copper pieces. Whoa. How um, many silver? 33. Is it 20 gold? Yep. Now, you don't write it down, too. Only yeah. one person writes it down, Laura. So I know. I just no, you're writing it down too, and you guys always write stuff on your sheets. I'm gonna keep a record of what Anton got. <laughs> For the camera, <laughs> next time when we play, and you're like, "Why is this written over here?" You never remember when no, I'm writing writing treasure. I am writing grand totals, and so you said 33 silver. 33 silver pieces, 238 copper pieces. 238 copper pieces. <laughs> you write it down yourself. I'm not. I'm not a bean counter. I eat beans, okay? <laughs> jelly beans. <laughs> um, there's uh, jelly five, beans. five gemstones and a scroll uh, written in a language that you don't recognize, as well as the bags of, of food. Well, they bring it's like a cabbage us for to, the road or something. It's gonna take all of us to carry this stuff out when we leave. Shove a cabbage in my pocket, maybe. 
So what kind of gems are they? Gems? Um, you will have to do a knowledge check if you want to try to figure out what those are. Have Dodden left or? Nope, Dodden's just sort of sitting off in the corner. Gosh, did we just leave him? I feel really bad. Well, you two were sitting out there while I went in the room, and then you guys both ran in here and left him. Because we don't trust you. Well, then why do you feel bad about leaving him? I want to do a okay. knowledge check about those gemstones. Alright. <laughs> no, anything. 19. Alright, one is an amethyst. Um, one is, Anton's the one that has those written down, so one is an amethyst. One is a moss agate, and then there's three green stones that you don't know what they are. Kryptonite. Nothing. Um, so do you guys want to try to rest? I don't know if we can rest in, like, sitting here. <laughs> like, do we trust Dodden to be able to rest? I guess we do. Or we could just go in there, like you said, and shut the door and... Maybe try to barricade it or something and rest inside that room. Well, also, like, out there. remember, <laughs> like, didn't the ceilings were made out of web? Oh, yeah. Was that, right. like, spider goblin web or was that, like, spider spider web? Uh, oh, the, the goblins don't put out web, no. Okay, okay, so, so let's just pack up our shit and leave then. <laughs> Are you okay with leaving? I thought we were gonna rest and heal. Well, how about we can, can we carry out? We can rest the... out of the tower. Where? In one of the trees, like we did recently. I mean, but there's still we know that there's still like random teams and parties of goblins out there searching for us still. Does Dodden say there's any like Dodden, are there any other uh, goblins like There are gar goblins out on patrol. Okay. I don't know what the chief's going to do once he leaves. He might try to gather them up and go to another tower. Yeah, I feel like we need to get out of here. The chief knows. I mean, like, if... I feel like if the spiders right. were going to attack, they would have attacked by now, wouldn't they? All right. right. Who's, at, um, who's at the highest hit point so that, um, you know, we can rest in, uh, rest in, uh, you know, increments? What are you at? Um, at, like, three. Okay, I'm at five, so I'll do first watch and while well, you guys uh, well, rest. If we're going to stay in this room, we should take just a moment before we just start resting. Let us see, can we feel that we are securely barricading these doors? Do we trust keeping Dodden in here with us while we rest, or do we need to send also, him on his way, or do we kill Also him? remember the... The webs up top, there's yeah. light coming down through it, so that goes up to the surface. Yeah. And there's no way for you guys to block that. Is there a web from inside the room? The, now, the treasure room over there, no, it's just its own little cubby hole. So, so we go let's go in the treasure room and one of us kind of be staked out right at the door. Um, let's take listening. the throne, let's take the dead tree, and let's take all the sacks of stuff, and let's use those to barricade the yeah. door. That we are in. And then we'll lay down in front of all that stuff. Plus and our they, body weight. Yeah, and if they break in, then we'll wake up to find out. All right. Um, and let's come up with something. Dodden says, let's come up with I have to come in there with you guys, too. I'm not staying out here. Okay. He can join us. But um, Dodden has to take the bathroom we somewhere out there to, before he comes in with us. We have to check him to make sure there's no weapons on him, though, because he can't be stabbing us or stealing our weapons. Plus, we gotta we, lock our weapons down plus, tight. Dodden has to go to the bathroom outside of this room. I'm not going to be smelling any grambling poo or pee while we're resting. Though he could be, if he, if he rests and he does, like, you know, tries to kill us in our sleep or steals our we're gonna take weapons turns. while we're sleeping. Like, I'll be awake first, so you guys, like, and Dodden, if he feels like sleeping, you guys can all rest. So we've um, stripped Dodden. Yeah. They barely wear anything to begin with. He has a little robe. He has a little robe on, but okay. he has no weapons. He just has his staff. He doesn't want to let that go because that's his dad's staff. 
Yeah. Is we're not gonna. A magical staff? Can you detect magic on that staff? I mean, whatever. Like. Can you though? It would be just one roll of the dice. Actually, it's not rolling it. It's just a spell, remember. When you cast it, um, his staff doesn't glow, but he has a little necklace that glows. And also. Is it from Vic? Those three. No, it's a little amulet necklace. Okay. And then those three gems that you guys couldn't identify all glow. Okay. Oh, okay. What are these gems? Or, like, they can go off to bed. I'm going to talk to Dodden about the gems. I don't know. Those gems burn my hands. Let's try to eat What about the gems on your neck? See what happens. Oh, that's mom's necklace. That's your mom's necklace? Mm -hmm. Does it do anything? Nope. I just. Everyone in my family has always worn it. Okay. Well, okay. Do you want to disperse those three green ones? Yeah, let's really see. Try to try to hold one and see what happens. Okay. Does anything happen? Nope. Okay. So th- does it burn our skin? Like dots. Mm-hmm. Dots. Okay. No way. What is it? So Dotted. Sorry, Dotted. You're all the same, you elflings. Okay. All right, so who takes first watch? I'm taking first watch. All right, roll init- or roll awareness. Fifteen. All right. Um, all is quiet on your watch. Who's taking second watch? I can. So do we gain back anything? After like, a full night's rest. Okay, so this is... That first watch was how many hours? Like... You guys are just splitting up. We'll say that you're going like nine hours so everyone gets enough sleep. Okay. So like first three hours of me was fine. So So who's next? I'm fine continuing. I mean like I'm at five whereas you guys are at like two and three. Let's all heal. Yeah, if you wait eight hours and everyone gets... And then can I be using healing? Uh, right. What does it say? Um, you can take a round to find an injury during rest. A healer can use their abilities to allow characters to gain back double the normal hit points. Does yeah, rest. Yes. Yeah, so, so you'll be using that on yeah. everybody. Okay. Yeah. All right, so next, Xyla, you're up next? Or is it... How's your mom? awareness, Xyla? Oh, zero. zero. Okay, how about I do it? Okay. <laughs> Oh. Well, uh, we are going to go with a five. Um, you don't hear anything. No. But nothing messes with the door or anything, and then you wake up Zyla and you go to bed. Zyla, roll awareness. Ugh, this always makes me so nervous, more than anything else. It's 12. Without a modifier, she still does better. All right. Um, Towards the end of your shift, you hear the door start to rattle a little bit. And you look up, up, and there's a little space above the door, like just a little... Nuh-uh. Bit. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a <laughs> goblin-built door, and you see a long, slender, uh, hairy arm like reach through all right we wake up spindly dodson no wait dotted oh wait 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 okay, it's sorry, on the board sorry, it says sorry. his name let, on the board let him, let him sorry what's happening sorry 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 go ahead and you have to roll a sanity check our first sanity check because it's a check. large furry oh. insect arm coming in the door door now frame I, yeah, yeah, now I, I have to be afraid nightmares. of them because i wasn't afraid so of them if she before, fails sanity check apparently. does she have to like take a shot or something uh, well, no, she has to just first roll your sanity check. Roll okay. two d10s. Yeah. Three. Three. Get that one. And another so one. So we and don't gain back hit points? Yep. Not, got... not yet. Damn it. Of course something shows up. 63, is that right? 63, all right. So you, uh, well, 63... Uh, and it's at a negative three, so you're actually at 66, but that's still below your Sandy, so you do not lose anything. Nope. Um, but you're still sitting there like, and then it slowly draws back, and then it's quiet. And then the rest of the night passes. Is that, you wanna let everyone sleep? Are you gonna wake us up? 
I mean... So here's the thing. If you wake them up and everyone gets into combat ready, game back. then it's not considered a rest. Yeah, I'm going to let everybody sleep. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. There's nothing else for the rest of the night, and you guys wake up rested. All of yes. us? Yep. Yes. Okay, guys. So we're guys, back to I normal? have to tell you what I saw on my So watch. you guys gain back 2d6 hit points. So roll 1d6 and add your con bonus to it. Do we each roll? Yep. Alright, so double that. So you get two hit points back. That's it? Yes. Wait, so After a whole night of rest? Yes. So we roll, add the con bonus? And then double it. Okay. Because she used heal. So five... Oh, I'm at five hit points. Let's hopefully... Let's rest one more so night. So add the con bonus, double it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Five. I am at... Max HP. Awesome. I am at five. I'm at fifteen. I am less than max. Less than half of max. Okay. So, anybody, how'd your watch go? Well, it's pretty terrifying, but I didn't want to wake you guys up. There was, you know, a spider trying to see if there was anybody in here. I saw one long arm come up and then go back. Ah. That was it. Okay, well, we know what we're getting into if we open that door. <laughs> Maybe. Um, we could how's your through. sanity? It's great. Yeah. Um, but you know what? We could look through that hole at the yeah. top of the door and see if there's anything out there. How about let's leave. not... You first. <clears throat> no, let's not prop the one up that's afraid of spiders. No. Like, boost me up so I can check and make sure that it's clear. I mean, how tall... Does the, is this door? I mean, it couldn't be that tall, right? With the yeah. goblins. Yeah, so he can like he could boost tall, me yeah. up. Hey, Dot, and how many spiders are in this uh, tower? There's too many spiders. <laughs> Thanks. He said two. <laughs> <laughs> two, too many. Um, I got a nine. All right, you look through the crack, and it looks clear. Looks clear. It looks great, you guys. Do you want right. to just let me look? I'll tell you if there's spiders out there. Really? You want to look? Yeah. Okay. You're going to have to roll sanity too, right? If she sees any. <laughs> if she knows that there's spiders around Actually, her, I'm going to say that you have to roll a sanity. If you are the one that peek, you have to roll sanity because you're you know what's, but what was out there. If she's af that afraid of spiders, would she be more aware of them? What if I look no. at him through Thank my mirror? Is it no. as scary? No, if you look, no, because it if says you look, objects and mirror are closer than they appear. <laughs> if, if you use your mirror, you will, uh, no matter what, you will have to roll sanity check if you peek out. Okay. I guess I won't peek out then. All right, I'll you peek. Want sanity. All right. Uh, looks clear with a three. <laughs> looks clear. All right. You guys, you realize if I. If there's nothing out there, if I roll really high and there's actually nothing out there, it's probably worth me risking my sanity to see okay, that there's fine. nothing Look out again. there. Okay, fine. Look again. Look again. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Dodden, do you want to go next? In the meantime, I'm telling Dodden about my dreams that I had last night. <laughs> and he's sitting there like, you did oh, what with tea? Under the no. Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a five. Yeah, you don't see anything, so roll sanity check. If I don't see anything, then how could I? You're confronting roll a your fear because it still could you be. You know there's not actually seeing. I anything. said if you want to roll, you had to do a sanity check first. Oh, you okay. just passed the sanity check, okay. so roll that sanity check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't see anything with my eyeballs. Oh jeez. Thirty-six. All right, you, oh, you thought you have to roll under sanity, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. So yes. you were successful. Yay! All right. So everything's clear. No, no that doesn't mean it's clear. It just means. <laughs> All she right. Now go we crazy. boost Dot enough and make Dot and tell us. You roll for Dot. I, I am not looking out there. Either you guys open the door, or we're just stuck in here. Oh my God! Don't open the door. Nobody knows you're there. Part. We have enough cabbages, and there's a corner over there. 
All right, let's we can just open live in here. Okay, I'm gonna go up and open the door. All right, you open the Slowly. door. Slowly. And the room is quiet beyond. But we gotta carry all this stuff out. Dodd, and if you help us carry all this stuff out, we might Got a shiny you. piece of copper. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a gold piece. You killed his people and pulled his, the teeth out. I could pull his teeth out if he doesn't cooperate. Okay, anyways, um, so I'm gonna enter in the room, slowly, okay. looking around. Do I see spiders? Nope, okay. everything looks clear. All right, uh, how about we get out of this building, guys? Let's go, how many bags Ruby. of cabbages and crops can we take? Each of you guys can carry one bag. Okay. I got the cabbages, I'll take the potatoes. Those are the heaviest ones, though. That's probably not a good idea. But I'll try. Do we just... Yep. Okay. There we go. Can you carry anything in? To, or bergamot, since you are uh, carrying all the gems and copper and gold. And uh, I'm going to carry else. this giant uh, satchel of uh, thick-cut bacon. Nobody said there was bacon in there. You just didn't look in this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we'll say that you guys uh, load up with as many foodstuffs as you can. Uh, you have a new small goblin companion who's Yay! carrying a little Wait, thing are we along with him. Oh. I thought maybe one of us was carrying him. No, <laughs> nope. no, you said that you'd give him a copper if he carried Yay! out a bag of cabbages. Yeah. Um, I give him more than Yay! that. It's so sad. He already said yes. <laughs> no, and, he deserves more. And you more. guys exit out of the tunnel and look out into the forest and you still have a journey ahead of you, but at least you've cleared this out and solved the mystery of what was taking the crops. And mm -hmm. so we will just end it there for. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Not over though. That is what. What is? What's his face? King is still not. Yeah. Anywhere Ter to be Terrigan, found. whatever. But yeah. um, I'm gonna flip a flip a cabbage up to um Dodd and, and wish him potatoes. wish him best. Wait, you flip? Yeah. Is that yeah. how you flip cabbages? Yeah. yeah you just kind of. Oh wait. Well, we were gonna end it. Wait, you flip and wish him the best. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the hallway, you killed his people, you made him a traitor, Wait, and he's like, Wait, I, I thought you were going to and, die and, and, somewhere. And you hang mind, out with us. In your mind, a cabbage is more of a reward than a shiny piece of anything. You're like, here, take a moldy cabbage. Actually, right. Dottie. And I would like to see you flip a cabbage to somebody. Like, that's I pretty, just did. It's like, that is not the size of a cabbage. Guys, Dottie will be you able to tell us You need to get in the kitchen more often if you think that's a the cabbage. Other, the other gerblins that might be like coming out of the forest to attack us. So okay. you want us to like bind and Okay, he would and actually be really useful for translating, so maybe yeah. he should stay with us. And he didn't try to hurt us at all. Okay. You know, while we were I'm okay if Dodden hangs out with us. Yeah. He doesn't have so, a choice. Are we headed to the next tower, or are we headed into town to like fortify armor and things like that? Wait, didn't we just kidnap Dodden? Like, yes, we, we did. Make sure that that's like abundantly clear. <laughs> yeah, he's ours. Like, he's I think ours. he's coming. Well, you guys along are supposed to report back to guard Guardsman go, Berger right? after you found out like if the we might be gremlins marching, were real. We might be marching Dodden to his death. <laughs> we can leave Dodden at the edge of the forest. No, we could just like you know we go some, into town. Trim some <laughs> all right, all right. off of Bergamot. We'll, we'll end it with this. As you guys are all doing that, you turn around and Xyla's put her cloak on Dodden and has like fluffed out his hair. It's just like ugly elfling. Yeah, it's <laughs> good. All right, and we'll end on that. And okay. Dodden goes, "It's a living." <laughs>